Hello everyone. Welcome back to MedSurge Mentor. Pancreas is an organ of the digestive system which is located in the abdomen behind the stomach and it functions as both endocrine and exocrine gland. Today let's review the condition pancreatic cancer. It is the 12th most commonly occurring cancer in men and 11th most commonly occurring cancer in women. All right, let's begin. First of all, let's see what is pancreatic cancer. It is the abnormal cell proliferation leading to tumor formation in the pancreas. Risk factors of pancreatic cancer are cigarette smoking, older age mostly over 65 years, diabetes mellitus, chronic pancreatitis, family history of genetic syndromes including BRCA2 gene mutation, family history of pancreatic cancer, and obesity. There are two types of pancreatic cancer and they are exocrine and endocrine cancer. Exocrine cancer begins in the cells that line the ducts of the pancreas. On the other hand, endocrine cancer forms in the hormone producing cells or the neuroendocrine cells of the pancreas. Pathophysiology of pancreatic cancer Due to etiological factors, cells in the pancreas develop changes in the DNA level which is called mutation. As a result of this, cells grow uncontrollably and accumulates to form a tumor. If left untreated, pancreatic cancer cells spreads to the nearby organs and blood vessels resulting in further complications. Clinical features of pancreatic cancer are Abdominal pain that radiates to the back, loss of appetite and weight loss, yellowing of skin and eyes which is called jaundice, light colored stools, dark colored urine, itchy skin, high blood sugar, blood clots and fatigue. Diagnostic measures done to rule out pancreatic cancer are blood test such as tumor markers, ultrasound scan, CT, MRI, PET scan, endoscopic ultrasound and biopsy. Complications of pancreatic cancer are bowel obstructions, chronic pain, liver failure and weight loss. Next is management of pancreatic cancer. Common medical managements are chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and chemoradiation. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells which are injected into the vein or taken directly by mouth. Commonly used drugs are gemcitabine, 5-fluorouracil, and cisplatin. On the other hand, radiation therapy uses high energy rays or particles to destroy cancer cells. And in some cases, radiation therapy is combined with chemotherapy to treat pancreatic cancer, which means these two treatments are given during the same time period. This is called chemoradiation. Surgical managements of pancreatic cancer are Whipple procedure or pancreaticodeodinectomy, distal pancreatectomy, total pancreatectomy, and surgery for blood vessels. Let's see each one in brief. Whipple procedure is a surgical procedure to remove head of the pancreas, first part of small intestine, gallbladder, part of the bile duct and nearby lymph nodes. Second procedure is distal pancreatectomy. 
and this surgery is done to remove tumors in the pancreatic body and tail and in some cases spleen is also removed in total pancreatectomy entire pancreas is removed and a lifelong insulin and enzyme replacement is necessary after this procedure fourth procedure is to remove and reconstruct affected blood vessels this is done for patients who are not eligible for whipple procedure or any other pancreatic surgeries preventive measures of pancreatic cancer are maintain a healthy weight stop smoking limit alcohol use increase consumption of fruits vegetables and whole grains decrease use of red and processed meat include citrus fruits and curcumin in diet and ensure hydration nursing diagnosis for patient with pancreatic cancer are acute pain related to inflammation and edema grieving related to perceived potential death of patient imbalanced nutrition less than body requirement related to anorexia impaired skin integrity related to poor nutrition and bed rest activity intolerance related to pain and discomfort fear and anxiety regarding uncertain outcome knowledge deficit regarding disease condition and ineffective coping related to dietary restrictions nursing care of patient with pancreatic cancer are assess pain level hydration status vital signs and level of coping provide proper explanation regarding current status ensure open non judgmental environment use therapeutic communication skills provide non pharmacological comfort measures encourage use of stress management skills or complementary therapies administer analgesics like opioids and non steroid anti inflammatory drugs encourage patient to eat high calorie nutrient rich diet with adequate fluid intake avoid overly sweet fatty or spicy foods and provide supplemental oxygen as indicated so far we have discussed regarding pancreatic cancer in short it is the abnormal proliferation of pancreatic cells resulting in tumor formation major clinical features are jaundice abdominal pain anorexia light colored stool and fatigue it can be treated by chemotherapy radiation therapy and surgeries hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you